So today's gonna be fun. We're gonna be talking about prices of vices and why from one end to the other, they're so different. In the last few weeks, we've been talking about the record vice versus the Fireball 510. And one of the things that comes up a lot is the price difference between these two. One, this record is a used vice. They do not make it anymore. So we're looking at used vice prices. But how much was it when it was new? And why is the 510 priced the way it is? So price is based off of need and necessity. This little four inch Fireball Forge vice is only 150 bucks, but it only has four inch jaws. It only opens up to about four inches. So its capabilities are small. And so therefore it reflects the price. This is the Wilton Snap-on vice. Brand new, it's $1,435. Used, it's about 600 to a thousand bucks. But like we've shown in previous videos, it is not impervious to breakage. This vice broke. I'm gonna be calling Snap on about this, seeing if I can get a replacement. Or now let's jump up to the record number six. Brand new in 1967, is the only place I could find a price, it sold for $145. In today's money, that's 1,794 bucks. But what happened? Used today, it's only worth 200 to 500 bucks. Does nobody love it? Why did it drop in price so much from when it was brand spanking new? Now we're stepping up to a different category. This is what I call the high pressure class. The Fireball 510 Hardtail High Pressure. Brand new, it's 1,500 bucks to 1,600 bucks, depending if it's on sale. Used, we don't no, there's not a single used 510 vice out there, even though thousands of them have been made. Why? Because nobody wants to sell it. This is the Reed 205. Brand new, adjusted for inflation, this is about $500 to $700. Today's money, $500 to 1000 bucks. But it is not without its weaknesses. As you can see, we are broken and it has some limitations to it. Go watch a previous video that we've tested. And then last but not least, everybody's favorite, the Wilton Bullet Vice. This is a Wilton 600S. Brand new, it's about seven. 1,500 to 2,000 bucks used. They're about $1,000, but even this vice has some carnage. Whoa, Swivel dude. bases, it is not impervious to damage, and this is Wilton's biggest bench vice. Now we're jumping up to the big boys. The Fireball 614 Hardtail High Pressure. This vice sells for 1,800 to 2,000 bucks. This has the largest opening of any vice on the market, 14 inches, weighs 265 pounds, and it's designed to take whatever you're gonna throw at it. Next to it is the Reed 208. This right now sells for about 1,500 to 3,000 dollars. These are collectors, and depending on the condition, you're gonna be paying for it. And when everybody says, Jason, they take up too much workbench space, I guarantee you that whatever somebody's doing on here doesn't care about their workbench. They're making money money between these jaws. So keep that in mind, that's a good little difference between all of these vices. And as you can see why prices dictate that and also the build quality varies in there also. So thank you guys for watching. We'll do more of this if you want and I'll see you guys on the next one.